the Secretary for the Relationship with the, the Italian government, embassy. several embassies and experts from around the world all gathered in Rome to analyze the repeated attacks on religious freedom around the globe and come up with a strategy to combat them. They assert that more than ever, religious freedom is being threatened and that it is necessary to take action. We must not be afraid to denounce the many, many acts of persecution against Christians. These include the violence and discrimination that occur in some areas of the world and are not precedent in history, except in the early days of Christianity. The Vatican's foreign minister, Monsignor Paul Gallagher, agreed with this diagnosis. He also said that discrimination against Christians did not come about because of radical groups such as ISIS. But it's a phenomenon that's been happening for many years. Let's be honest. The religious pluralism that existed in the Middle East was not always perfect. It had its ups and downs. And even before the barbarity of the so-called Islamic State emerged on the world stage, Christians and others and other numerically small ethnic and religious communities felt they were second-class citizens. The European Union Special Envoy for Religious Freedom explained that for the future, the best tool to combat this violence is education. He stated that the world is not experiencing a war of religions, but a war of ignorance. The situation in the world is uh, very critical because freedom of religion uh, and belief is under uh, severe restrictions or oppression or even uh, non-existing in full sense in many regions of the world. We need to, to go deeper, for example, through education, because all these issues, including the, the extremism, violence or fanaticism, has some roots and, um, and some allies. Allies of evil are ignorance, indifference and fear. Experts agree that the trends are negative. Religious freedom in the world for believers of all denominations is diminishing and being threatened by intolerance, discrimination, persecution and even genocide.